Welcome back to another quick tip. Network rendering is an incredible way of improving your workflow. It allows you to increase your rendering speed and capacity by utilizing multiple computers on one network. All of that hardware combined equals faster output. Plus, sending everything to the network, rather than rendering locally, frees up your computer, enabling you to continue refining your design, adding variations, and submitting additional jobs. Let's quickly run through the basics of network rendering. The Keyshot network rendering software is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Visit the downloads page at keyshot.com resources slash downloads for the individual installer for your operating system. Network rendering consists of three roles, the clients, the manager, and the workers. The Keyshot client application communicates internally with the manager service and assigns the job tasks to the available workers. The workers are the machines that you've added to your network. You can have both CPU and GPU workers, but be aware that adding slower machines can sometimes decrease total render times due to increased load balancing and network latency. Let's look at an example. I want to send a job directly to the network. I'll navigate to options in the render dialog, making sure to switch the render mode to send to network. I can then choose the render engine from this dropdown. If you have multiple CPU or GPU machines assigned as workers, this is where you would make the initial request for the network to use CPU or GPU for your jobs. After getting these settings in order, any future jobs will be sent to the network. The button in the render dialog now reads send to network. So if instead I've built up a queue and I want to render that on the network, I can select all these jobs and choose send to network. Something to remember, just clicking process queue will still render those jobs locally on your machine. So be sure to click Send to Network. This is the network monitor, which will launch automatically once you've sent jobs to the network. I can watch the progress of my jobs here, as well as which workers are currently completing tasks. The progress bar will estimate the time remaining. However, it is based on extrapolating what has already been rendered. For example, if the remaining animation frames to be rendered are more complex than the initial frames, say it's a product dropping into a basic scene, the progress bar may seem as if it is slowing down as it reaches the more complex sections of the animation. Within the completed list, I can view jobs that are finished, check out their details, a preview, and a log of events related to that job. To quickly view your finished rendering in the saved folder, just click the folder icon next to the name of your rendering. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Expand your rendering capabilities with Keyshot Network Rendering, available for purchase in the Keyshot store. Check out the link in the description below. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.